Hello everyone, my name is Stanley St. Rose, and today I'm going to be talking about Of Plymouth Plantation, uh, written by William Bradford. Now, before I go into summary and analysis of this work, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment, so that the channel can continue to grow. Now, Of Plymouth Plantation uh, is a very interesting work. Um, William Bradford here, he starts with his... Um, group um, coming from England, coming from Europe. Uh, we're talking about a hundred people or so. Uh, they're leaving Europe, they're leaving England, and they're coming to the Americas. And it's a very difficult and treacherous and you know journey. Uh, a lot of the people, uh, you know, a lot of a good number of people died at sea. A good number of people uh, almost didn't even make it uh, to the new land. Um, some people, it's because of disease, viruses. Some people were thrown overboard. Uh, there was one point throughout the journey when, you know, the ship had problems, the Mayflower had problems. Some people thought, you know, it was going to capsize and things like that. Uh, so it was not an easy journey. I mean, there was food on board. And, and, and you know, if you put yourself in, in this situation, you have to understand these are William Bradford, he was with a group of Christians, and it's mostly Christians on this boat, all right? It's mostly Christians, and there's a few people on the boat that are only there for capital gain, for economic reasons. They want to make money. William Bradford, he doesn't, you know, really acknowledges, acknowledge them that much. He's only paying attention to the Christians. Um, and so the Christians are, are going to the New World um, from from a Christian perspective, they believe in God. They know that God is going to protect them. They know that God is going to hold the ship together. And so a lot, a lot of them are, are praying people. Uh, there's one instance on the ship where this guy, you know, he's, he's cursing curse Christians. And, and curses are something that Christians believe in, um, something I believe in. And I think, you know, the, the words that you use are very powerful. Um, and this guy on the boat, he's like cursing the Christians and saying, you know, I wish, you know, you all died. You know, I, I wish, you know, that you guys never make it to the new land. And what's interesting is the guy, he ends up dying uh, before he makes it to the America. So in, in, in the work, uh, in, in the, the writings of, of, of William Bradford here, it's kind of like, you know, it's kind of like his curse fell, fell upon his head. Uh, lots of other things happen on the ship, you know, storms at sea. Uh, difficulty, people trying to, to, to live on the boat. This is, you know, you're, they're on the boat for months and it's not easy. Imagine you, ha you have to live, eat, sleep, you know, use the bathroom, pee, you know, every single thing that you have to do, you have to do it on the ship. It is treacherous. It is hard on the body. It is hard on the self. It's not an easy thing to do. Uh, that the people did, um, you know, William Bradford and, and the Puritans or uh, the people in his group. It's not an easy thing that they did uh, to get uh, to the Americas. And as soon as they get to the Americas, uh, a lot of things are happening. Uh, it, it's, you know, of course you had people that died, but as soon as they get to the Americas, they're confronted by the elements, uh, a horrible winter. They're also confronted by the Native American Indians, uh, at first, they just start shooting arrows at them. Um, you had leagues of men or, or groups of men going out uh, to find food, to find, to like, discover the land. They landed at Cape Cod, and, and there's a lot of exploring that goes on. And ultimately, they find this little place, this little island, where they start building and they start um, trying to put themselves together. And it's not easy because, you know, they're in this land. They, they've just crossed the sea. They can't really go back. I mean, you could go back, but, you know, the, you know, the several months to get back there would be extremely difficult. Uh, you don't have that much food. You're in this new land. You don't know how to, to navigate around this new land. There's, there's, they call them savages. They call the Indian savages. They, 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 they have these savages running around trying to kill them. Um, they do find, you know, things in here and there that, that do make them happy. You know, the, the Indians were already farming at this point in time. The Indians were farming. They, they had houses. They had, you know, they had houses that they had built or in, in, in their culture. So the Indians had a society here. So when, when the, the, the early settlers got here, when William Bradford and his group got here, um, you know, they, they found the, you know, corn at some times they found corn. Um, later they learned, they, they actually, 
uh, they kind of have this, this truce with the Indians, or some of the Indians at least, and um, you know, the, this this tribesman comes and helps them out, and uh, there, there's like a meeting between a group of the Indians and it, and William Bradford's group. They teach them how to fish or where to fish. They teach them, um, you know, where where the good place is to get food. You know, they teach them around the land and how to use the land and how to survive off the land, and it's really not easy. Um, so th there's lots to learn for, for William Bradford and his group. Now, William Bradford does become the governor. He does, you know, become the governor and help out, uh, his group survive. Now, out of the hundred or so people that were on the ship, like 50 died of all types of diseases, illnesses. Um, the, the 50 that are left, you know, some died in that also, but there were like a, 10 people in the group that were tough, you know, tough as nails. Um, collecting food, collecting fires, keeping the group or keeping, you know, you know, everybody else in the group alive. And it's, it's always interesting. In every group, there's always this, the strong man or the strong woman that pretty much holds all the weight. And in, in the group of 50, there were like seven people that were really uh, tough, um, that, were, that, you know, was able to like, you know, get food and set fires, you know, kind of like fight the, the elements or, the, or nature not fight to win, but fight enough to survive and to even help the group survive. Um, so ultimately, they do build an establishment or they build a community uh, at Cape Cod. William Bradford becomes the governor after the other governor dies. Uh, and then they start to spread out. You know, more people start to farm. People start to get their own land. Uh, they start to cultivate the land and, you know, the of Plymouth Plantation it becomes a plantation. People get cattle. Um, people start thinking about economy and prosperity and, and, and you know, farming and things like that. Um, of course, there's lots of fights with, with the Indians and shootings and, and altercations where Indians die and, you know, settlers die. It's very bloody because in this new world, you have, you know, the, the, the woods and forests and the natural elements all around you. You have the Indians that you're getting into conflict with. Uh, and you have the settlers trying to build houses and trying to build set, um, settlements. And the Indians, for them, it's it's completely unusual because for the Indians, you know, the land is for everybody, right? They don't set borders. They don't set, you know, walls. They don't set, you know, this is my land, this is your land. The Indians just move freely off the land. But the settlers, as soon as they get here, they're building houses. They're building uh, barricades. They're, they're, they're pretty much taking over the land. And, and that gets into conflict. Uh, and, and, you know, there, there's, there's bloody battles. Um, but again, you know, guns beat arrows. So when the Indians come with their arrows in this account, you know, they can't really beat guns. Um, so the settlers, uh, they, they, they keep spreading out, you know, having lots of kids because, okay, you're an early settler. Uh, you want to gain land. You want to, you know, grow, you know, be a farmer. So they're, they're having lots of kids and, and they're moving on out and uh, more sellers are coming day by day in other parts of America. So you kind of get a, uh, a clean picture of what's happening here. But of Plan Plan Plantation, it's William Bradford, his group, their journey across the, she the, the sea, how treacherous that was, their early encounters with the natives and how bloody it was at some point. Uh, but because of their guns and because of a lot of luck at times, you know, well, let's not say luck. We could say uh, because of a lot of blessings, because William Bradford's group, they're a group of Christians and everything, every blessing that they got, they thank God for it. Uh, and so this story is not only a, a story of, of settlers coming, but it's also a story of Christians depending on God to to be their guide, to help them in, in, in horrible uh, situations. And in many ways, uh, you can say that God helped them because there's a lot of things that happened, you know, when they needed food, when they needed uh, a place to settle down, when they needed help, some way or another, uh, help came to them. And, and, and you know, they, they relied upon that. They relied upon their faith because, again, of Plymouth Plantation, it's not just um, people coming to the New World for economic gain. It's also for religious freedom. And, and as soon as they get settled, um, they're establishing churches. They're they're establishing communities um, based upon religion, and so everything that's happening to them, the food that they're they're growing, the cattle, the prosperity, they're thanking God for it in every 
uh, way possible. Um, and so that is absolutely fascinating that, that this happens within this work, because uh, really in Bradford, uh, he's a Christian himself, and you know he regards the other Christian. So it's a tight knit community, a tight knit community that 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 gets expanded throughout Cape Cod, and it just keeps going and going, and until you know you have, no, oh, well the colonies. Um, so it's a it's a very interesting account of of the journey from England, from Europe, from the sea, from those who made it um, um, to the New World. And I also have to say, man, it's quite scary because at times, man. A, a lot of these people, they died, and they died horribly. They died without achieving anything. You know, you had hundreds, um, like a hundred people, hundred plus people got get on a ship, and a lot of them just barely, just barely made it to the new world. They died at sea, and then when they got here, they died because of scurvy or some type of disease or illness. Um, and really, the the toughest of the toughest, they survived. Some people got into you know the group itself William Bradford's group and here and there people within the group got into fights got into arguments got into disputes um and at times they even turned on each other um and so you know and, and the other thing is it's some parts were just so um unfortunate and dark because some of the people when they're dying they don't know what they're dying of they they, they have no hope of of living they 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 know that they're sick they don't know what disease because we don't you know at that point in time no one knew what you know certain diseases were killing them um and so they gave up everything to come to the new world and then they end up dying at sea or from some type of disease or from an arrow from an indian so it's a very treacherous very difficult journey that these people had to go through but ultimately we can say those that survived well they they profited they were blessed um and um well they were i guess their reward was the land and, and the prosperity after they, they, they started to settle down that they received so very interesting account by william bradford it really gives us an early narrative of what it was like um, to go from Europe, to go from England, and to come to the New World. Um, so that's all I have to say about that. Please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video.